What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're gonna actually learn three kind of sorta variations of some cha-cha-cha vibes. Yeah, some cha-cha-cha vibes I did on a recent gig and I wanted to share with you guys. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, hit that like button just to find out whenever I upload. And yes, had to give a shout out to all my day ones, man, all the members, everybody that's helped supporting this channel and just continuing giving me these good vibes, man. You gotta love it. And seriously, I had some questions about the this uh, recent upload I think I uploaded yesterday but I want to uh, kind of break down uh, a cha-cha-cha variation that I did and I was using it a lot uh, throughout the day uh, that I would notice myself doing in this gig it wasn't just in this video because believe it or not in that video I actually played for two hours straight two hours straight and yeah so I definitely kind of went back to this rather than just doing some basic dumbao I kind of relied on this variation it's just um, I think that um, we would first have to first learn the kind of the standard and then I will show you how to kind of add on top of that but yeah I'm gonna play uh, the three variations and then we're gonna break it down yeah you gotta look Kind of fun on that one but yeah let me show you what I'm doing so first in order to understand these other variations you have to first know kind of like the base which is the first variation that I did in that demonstration so what I do is I actually start on the four I actually start this pattern on the four to land on the one so when I'm hitting that open right here on the one is actually what starts the variation but the feel you actually get it on the four and what I'm doing is I'm doing two opens with my dominant hand on the tumba and then one open with my non-dominant hand on the conga so it'll sound like this after doing that open with my non-dominant hand on the conga what I'm actually gonna do is kind of like a bass sometimes it could sound like a close slap but I normally do a bass with my non-dominant hand on the conga then I do a close slap with my dominant hand on the conga then an open with my dominant hand on the conga so it's gonna sound like this So to put that together, then after doing that open, here comes kind of like the secret sauce and spice of this variation. And I'm actually doing a bass close slap with my non-dominant hand and then two opens with my dominant hand on the conga. So it's going to sound like this. So to put that together, you see how it's starting to get that little feel going on. But after doing that, what I'm actually going to do is a bass finger close slap and then open. This is what's going to start helping us go now to end this variation and after doing that open you're actually going to just do a bass close slap kind of mimicking that same bass close slap that you just did when you did the two opens to kind of go back and land right here on the four so 
to kind of put that together is going to sound like this. So to put everything together, landing right at the beginning with those two opens, it's gonna sound like this. And that's basically it because those two opens that you landed and finished with is basically the beginning of the feel, you would say, because then you go right back to doing that open on the conga. So to play it all the way through, it's going to sound like this. Oh yeah, and to play it slowly and counting it for you guys is gonna sound like this. Before we proceed with the other variations, please make sure that you have that down. Internalize it, feel it, know it by heart, so you can just run to it and go to it when you need to. Now, to add on top of it, because we're just changing certain things around and we're actually just going to replace certain tones with other tones, it's still going to feel exactly the same. Now. With this other variation, the second one that I did in that demonstration, I start everything the same with the two opens and then the open here on the conga. It's gonna sound like this. But it's at this point where I start to replace certain tones. And normally what happens, I do a bass and close slap and that actually continues. But what would follow after that close slap would be an open. But in this time, what I'm going to do is two opens, and it's gonna sound like this. And what would normally follow at this point is actually that bass close slap to opens part. But what I'm actually just going to do is a bass close slap one open. So then after that, everything's exactly the same, but we're just replacing, again, certain tones with other tones. But it's the same thing. To kind of point that out, it's gonna sound like this. And then what would normally follow after that is that bass finger close slap with an open, bass close slap back to those two opens on the tumba. Everything stays the same after that. But to kind of go back and forth with these two variations, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Again, it feels the same, but sounds different, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know, got a little bit too deep there. Now the next variation, again, the only thing I'm changing is basically removing one of the tumba hits that I do here, 
and I'm moving it right here. So rather than do do ba, what I'm gonna do is do ba ba. So it's exactly the same, you know, like it, it's it's there. The only thing that's changing again, we're moving tone. So yes, you're you're taking a note away from this hand and adding it on this hand, but everything stays the same, but feels different, you know, or feels the same, sounds different. I mean, I even got confused with my own analogy, but yeah, to kind of show you that, it's gonna sound like this. That one is groovy. As a lot of melodic tones on one drum. If you really pay attention to it, is this all in one drum? Because we're only hitting this once. And it just adds a whole different dynamic. But yeah, to play all of them and play them slowly and counting them so you guys can kind of get the gist of it, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's kind of fun. Kind of feel like playing that in real time, just so you can get the gist of it again. Oh, you gotta, you gotta love these grooves, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Sorry, had to get it out my system. Had to get it out my system. But yeah, please take your time. It's a very, very simple pattern and variation, all three of them, but you know, it requires, again, that first one for you to kind of internalize it and, and feel it out, man. Feel it out, and I'm telling you, it's gonna work out for the best. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Please let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Oh,